Hey guys, so today's video is going to be how I bonded my two female rabbits. I want to start off by saying this isn't necessarily a tutorial on how to bond your rabbits together. This is just me telling you what I did and my experiences. I would also like to give a really big shout out to my two good friends, 101 Rabbits and The Furry Friends. They helped me a lot while during the bonding process. Um, they told me what to really do and they gave me tips and things like that. So I'll leave their links in the description bar and you can go check them out. So I started bonding the rabbits on March 1st. Now the first thing that I did was I put them in half of the bathtub. You always want to put your rabbits in a neutral area when meeting. but. This was probably a mistake. I should have stress bonded them before I put them in the bathtub because this did result in Cleo nipping Lola's ear, um, which then made it bleed and then there was blood all over the tub. So I had to separate them and clean up Lola's ear. She's fine. It was just like a little nick in the ear, but she's fine. After I separated them, I waited until about 3 p.m. to try bonding them again. So this time I did the stress bonding in the car, which is when you put them in a carrier and you take them for a car ride. We went for about half an hour. This just helps your rabbits um, be a little bit stressed out so then they will tend to cooperate together and like want to be beside each other because it's comforting. So after the car ride, then I took them to half the bathtub and they basically did very, very well after that. This session did last six hours. So on March 2nd, I did basically the exact same thing. Um, I did the stress bonding first, so I, this time I put them in the carrier and then I had the vacuum going because rabbits are usually scared of the vacuum so it can create a little bit of stress for them. So after the stress bonding, I put them into the bathtub and this lasted for about four hours. On March 3rd and 4th, I did stress bonding again each day and put them in half of the bathtub. This lasted seven hours each session um, and this means I was sitting in the bathroom for seven hours with my computer watching Netflix. And on the fourth day after um, a couple of hours having half of the bathtub, I extended it to the full bathtub. On March 5th, I moved them downstairs to a neutral area. It's a, a little hallway and I put them in a very small area. And each day I would extend the amount of space they had every day. During this stage, the rabbits did stay together through every night and day, and they did this for about five days. And then on March 10th, I decided to bring them into my room, which probably wasn't a good idea to start off with um, because Lola is really territorial. I did clean the whole area with water and vinegar to help um, make it more neutral, but Lola was still territorial of her space and area, so I did have to slowly block off a small corner of my room so that they can get used to the smells and everything, and Lola will figure out that it's not just her territory. So every day I am increasing the amount of space they have in my room just until they get adjusted and Lola's not so territorial anymore. So yeah guys, that is how I bonded my two female rabbits. Bonding isn't exactly easy or fun, but it is totally worth it because my rabbits are so much happier um, being together. Lola and Cleo are like the best perfect pair ever. They both have the same energy level and they just feed off of each other and they, they love being with each other. So yeah guys, I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope it can help anybody who is trying to bond two bunnies together. Thanks for watching. Bye!